Well, time you showed up. All right, I want to know what's going on. I've been trying to get Delgado's attention for, oh, I don't know, three years now. And what do I get? Nothing but radio silence. Then out of nowhere, just when Neva and I are closing in on a huge score of our own, Delgado orders me to help you out. Yeah, I figured you'd say something like that. Just another one of Delgado's loyal little soldiers, huh? Fine, have it your way. So Neva's message said you were here for Dombrowski. Was that all she sent you here to do? Or was there something else you were sent here to steal? Hmm, okay. So why are you targeting a Gaul Bank exec anyway? Not exactly your average Crimson Fleet prey. Why the interest? Oh, I see. We're playing this game now. Fine, fine. Well, you might as well turn around and hop back aboard your ship because you're not getting near Dombrowski without my help. Well, well. It appears we have a mind reader here. You're absolutely right. I don't want money. I want back into the Crimson Fleet. It's as simple as that. Fine. You want to play it that way and suit yourself. Dombrowski's a full-timer aboard the Siren of the Stars. Probably spends more time cruising the space lanes than actually working. Fortunately, the Siren is hosting the Tehran Preservation Society charity gala. Larry won't be able to resist showing off his VIP clout. To get what you need, you're gonna have to attend the gala, talk to his fellow philanthropists, and dig up some dirt. <laughs> yeah, well, lucky for you, it's not black tie, so you'll be fine. This card will allow you to access the Starview Ball. If you need my help, I'll be relaxing in one of the upper-level lounges. Head inside and mingle with the crowd. No one likes Dombrowski, so they'll be more than happy to share his dirty secrets. Now you're speaking my language. Oh, there's one last thing. Dryden equips all of their Starliners with the latest acoustic threat detection. Meaning that you lose patience and kill anyone aboard the ship, security will be alerted and all hell will break loose. Anyway, I suppose that's enough to get you started. Good luck. Oh, and while you're at the gala, avoid the canapes. They're frozen. Every day that I wake up in my bunk, I count my bills. This is one of Trident's top of the line Let's put it this way. He screwed over so many people. If he suddenly disappeared from the universe, I don't think anyone would miss him. Nice to have met you. Here for business? An open bar would have been nice. Larry likes to drop overly complex words into conversations. I'm sure he knows that it annoys people, but he does it anyway. Enjoy the rest of the event. So, what Pleased to make you your acquaintance. acquaintance. Dombrowski is married to some poor woman that he constantly leaves behind in New Atlantis when he goes on his business trips. That's all then? 
Okay. I certainly hope they decide. <laughs> I don't know why Larry's attending this event. He could care less about any planet, let alone the Earth. Don't forget to donate to the cause. Hello. Are you a member of the Society? The Society Chair has really outdone herself this time. Have you tried the canopy? His behavior towards women is abominable. That man really ought to be ashamed of himself. Hmm. Well, that was boring. Quite a lovely starliner. I certainly hope they decide to hold... He's been spending a lot of time with Claudia Swist. Quality time, if you catch my meaning. I'm certain his wife doesn't know a thing about it. That's all then? Okay. Here for business or pleasure? Sorry, do I know you? Okay, wait, are you seriously... Uh, are you trying to pick me up? Look, uh, I appreciate the compliment, but I'm already seeing someone. And my partner doesn't like competition. He gets very jealous. His wife? Uh, oh, for the love of God. I told Larry to keep his big mouth shut, but did he listen? No. He had to impress his friends and treat me like a trophy. Look, I've been in this business for a long time, and I know how this game works. So let's skip all the banter and get it over with. What's it gonna take to make us both happy? If I give you dirt on that son of a bitch Dombrowski, all I'm doing is endangering myself. Why would I do that? Is that supposed to be so? That's true. You have come this far already. You know more about me than I suspected. Can't have that. Why should I take the risk? You know what? Forget it. The price of doing business by slinging mud is way too steep. What else you got? You're willing to pay me to give you dirt on Larry? <laughs> Sorry, I, I... I thought I'd end up on the short end of the deal. You know, this whole thing really pisses me off. Larry and I had the perfect scheme where thousands of credits all worked out, and then he goes and flushes the whole thing down the toilet. Oh, angry isn't even the right word. The plan was solid. Larry got together with myself and this other guy, Gabriel Vera. He's some big wig over at UC Security. I doctored the transactions, Larry wiped them off the system, and Vera kept the legal pressure off of us. We were scamming Galbank for months. It was going well until I discovered Larry was cheating everyone by changing each transaction in his favor before deleting them. I wish I had some. Maybe you should try talking to Gabriel Vera. He should be around here somewhere. If he doesn't want to cooperate, just mention my name. That should grab his attention. Good luck. You're gonna need it. I hope you hurt Dombrowski. Nail his ass right to the wall. What brings you aboard? Hello. You here for the charity event? 
Dombrowski, uh, he's the exec holding court over in the VIP area of the ballroom. Yeah, sorry. I work for UC Security, not Galbank. I don't really know him personally. Claudia sent you, did she? Look, friend, I don't know if you're just a little drunk, maybe a touch crazy, or both. Whatever you think you know about me, you're dead wrong. So back off. Yeah, but before you walk away, let me give you a free piece of advice. Anything you try to report will boil down to your word against mine. And since I work for UC Security, who do you think people will believe? I saw your little exchange with Vera. Keep that up and I guarantee that Embassar's gonna demand that you be arrested. I know the guy, he doesn't bluff, but I'd bet my last cred stick he's running scared. There's clearly something going on between Vera, Swiss, and Dabrowski, but we need hard evidence to use it to our advantage. The problem is he's not gonna talk to you in public. We need to get Vera isolated so he'll spill everything he knows. Smart. If there's an emergency, standard practice is for all passengers to clear the decks and report to their cabins for lockdown. I think the best chance we have would be to tamper with the life support sensors. Manipulate a few controls and you can fool the monitoring system into thinking there's a, a life support failure. And there you have your emergency. I have no idea what all of that technical jargon meant, but cause enough confusion and it will buy us plenty of time. One more thing. If Chief Engineer Sundin gives you any trouble, tell him I'll erase that gambling debt he owes me. I prefer you use that as a last resort, but hey, what's the harm in losing a few credits when I'm on the brink of rejoining the fleet, right? Anyway, I better start backing. Things are getting hot around here, and won't be long before Trident figures out you had help. Get back to it. Pleased to make your acquaintance. An no. open bar oh, would have been nice. <laughs> Hold up. This area is off limits to passengers. Wait a second. You're Captain Rolkov's guest, right? Didn't expect to see you down here. Sorry to give you trouble. What can I do for you? Oh, uh, sorry. That area is off limits. No exception. Ah, you're a fellow techie, huh? <laughs> I can respect that. Tell you what. I'm just going to step out for a bit and stretch my legs. Maybe you can hold this for me while I'm away? Whatever you do, don't break anything, or I'll be... Out of a job.
Siren of the Stars is now in emergency status. Please remain calm and protect yourself. I was wondering if you were the cause of the shipwide emergency. It's time you stop playing games and tell me why you're here. You're working for Ikande's little anti-pirating outfit? So what? I have nothing to do with the Crimson Fleet. And even if I suddenly decided to stay loyal to the old UC, why would I possibly want to incriminate myself by handing over evidence? Claudia said that. You sure? Damn it! That means my money's already gone. And then Brusk is going to walk away with a fortune. I'd love to see the bastard fly. But if I give you that information and it falls into the wrong hands, I could end up in jail. At least I walk away with something. All right. You have yourself a deal. Here. With this slate and this recording to tie it all together, you'll be able to nail his ass to the wall. He'll do whatever you want. Just remember that you promised to leave me out of it. You better tell Dombrowski to run, because if you don't kill him, I will. The ship is in a state of emergency. Please return to your cabin. Excuse me. Would you mind telling me exactly what the hell you're doing in my cabin? Am I hearing you correctly? <laughs> you should mind your manners. Imagine pushing your way into my cabin uninvited and issuing such demands. And why in goodness name would I possibly agree to that ridiculous demand? We'll see who gets tired of this first. All passengers. I doubt I more talk is going to change my mind. I can see that. Please report to your cabins in an orderly fashion. I'd like to help you. I, I really would. Sorry, but I can't. Oh, this is utterly preposterous. I'm not giving you anything. Captain Rokov will be hearing about this intrusion. I can promise you that. Again? This is becoming a very annoying habit with you. I'm going to have to speak with Trident about these locks being overridden. Am I hearing you correctly? <laughs> you should mind your manners. Imagine pushing your way into my cabin uninvited and issuing such demands. Captain Rokov will be hearing about this intrusion. I can promise you that.
The ship is in a state of emergency. Please return to your cabin. I was wondering if you were the cause of the shipwide emergency. It's time you stop playing games and tell me why you're here. You're working for Ikande's little anti-pirating outfit, and even if I suddenly dis... Claudia said that. That means my money's already... I'd love to see the... At least I walk away with... Here, with this... Just remember... You better tell Dombrowski to run. Because if you don't kill him, I will. All passengers, may I have your attention, please? The captain has declared a ship-wide emergency. All passengers are being asked Please report to your cabins in an orderly fashion and remain there until you receive further instructions. Excuse me, would you mind telling me exactly... Am I hearing you? You should mind your manner. And why, in goodness' name? <laughs> I... I'm glad you... I bet I'm more... Oh, this is utterly preposterous. I'm not giving you... Excuse me. Am I hearing you, Com you should mind. And why in... You might be right. This isn't getting us any... I'm not trying to make your life difficult, you know. Oh, just take the damn thing already. Listen, maybe you can keep this between us. If the award goes missing, there's no need for the insurance company to get involved. Siren of the Stars is now in emergency status. Please remain calm and return to your cabin. Well, well. You must be the one who's been accosting Claudia and Gabriel. I'm uncertain what you hope to accomplish here, but it appears we should rapidly enter into some sort of negotiation. Excellent, excellent. So, before we begin, let's review the facts. First, it's clear that you've obtained insider knowledge of my arrangement to defraud Galvan. The means and the method. Perhaps, but not the motive. And second, I'm going to hypothesize that my compatriots are despondent regarding their share and have assisted you with this endeavor. Hmm? Since we're speaking and I'm not at the reporting end of a bullet, this leads me to conclude that you desire something personal from me. I pride myself on having an intensely thorough education, though I'd hardly call myself a professor. <laughs> though I'm sure that your compliment also meant you were having trouble understanding what I've been saying. In blunt terms, 
You have compromising materials about me in your possession. The only thing I have to offer in return are my gal bank credentials. I assume that's what you've been angling for all along? Splendid. It appears we've reached an accord. Wait, I'm sorry. Let me simplify that for you. It sounds like we have a deal. Oh, of course I trust you'll understand if I ask for us to avoid any further contact. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to formulate how I'm going to utterly ruin two very annoying business associates. Good day. All passengers, may I have your attention, please? The captain has declared a ship-wide emergency. Please report to your cabins in an orderly fashion and remain there until... Well, looks like everything worked out. Just like we planned. I'm glad one of us did. I'm just hoping you'll put in a good word for me with Delgado. Otherwise, I've risked my career for nothing. You know, I'm still wondering exactly what you needed those credentials for. You feel like telling me, partner? Ah, so he told you to keep it from me. I see. I wouldn't want you to risk your position with the fleet like I did, so I'll just leave it alone. Anyway, I suppose there's nothing stopping me from rejoining the fleet now. It's been a long time coming. I owe you one, Dover Beach. Nonsense. If there's one universal constant you can depend on, it's that Yevgeny Rokov always makes good on his deal. Always. Well, I suppose this is where we part company. Hopefully the next time we meet, we'll be aboard the key. There's no cause for alarm. I'm sure this is just a minor malfunction. All passengers, may I have your attention, please? The captain has declared a ship-wide emergency. Please report to your cabins in an orderly fashion and remain there until you receive further instructions. Be scanned as you enter the city. Please keep moving. Okay. No bounty. You're clear. You're doing okay? I know it's been a rough week. By the way, Captain, Sergeant Yumi was looking
Next time you see Bog, tell him to lighten up. Your buddy Rokoff is aboard the key. Told me everything had happened. Yeah, he won't shut up about you. Keeps going on and on. <laughs> now I remember why we kicked his ass out the fleet. Still a lazy old bastard, huh? Can't say I'm surprised. That's not exactly filling me with confidence, Rook. So I'm going to leave it up to you. Is Rokoff in, or is he out? Works for me. He's out. Good. Now we can finally get down to business instead of talking about that useless waste of space. Speaking of which... Let me see that data you copied from the Galbank archives. Ah, so the Galbank transport went down over Bannock 4. Bannock. Why does that sound familiar? Neva? Yeah, yeah, keep your panties on. I'm looking it up. And... I got it. Bannock 4. Let's see. Damn it. Bannock 4 is an EM-class gas giant. We can't even get a ship near the thing without frying every circuit aboard. Yeah, Rook. Just like every other time we've gone on this worthless treasure hunt. Both of you shut up and think for a second. I'm sure Creeks hit the same roadblock. All we need to do is figure out how he got around it. This sounds like a goddamn waste of time to me. I refuse to believe that we've come this far only to smash straight into a wall. I don't care what either of you think. We have to push through. Neva, the Galbank data says the transport had a CBR-27 transponder. Can we track that kind of thing? Pinpoint its exact location? That transponder is military grade. We're talking... Ultra-bit encryption, constantly reshuffling frequencies. We don't have shit like that laying around. But, before you get that pissy look on your face, I heard that the UC's been working on a ship signal decryption system called a comm spike. We grab that little beauty, and we'll be able to track anything you want. All right, here is the plan, so shut up and listen. Rook? I want you and Neva to put your heads together and get us that comp spike. I don't care if it's mounted at the top of mast. I want it. In the meantime, I'm going to find out more about this EM class gas giant problem. And I think I know just who to ask. Give me a little time to crunch the numbers on the comp spike with Jazz, and I'll point us in the right direction. Yeah? Well, I got news for you. You know, damn picnic to work with either, so deal with it, Rook. All right, that is enough. We are in arm's reach of Crix's legacy, and I don't have time to deal with this kind of bullshit. Now, both of you, get the hell out of here and get to work. All right, let's get this over with. Follow me. Looking to start something? Cause I'll finish it. Alright. 
Let's get right to it. Did you get the Earth Savior Award, or am I going to be very disappointed? Well, well, look at that. You followed my directions, and now you're going to end up with some credits in your pocket. That about does it, then. A hell of a deal for both of us, I'd say. Anyway, here's your cash. Keep this up, and I might even start respecting you. All right, Fleet? We've all got work to do. So let's get to it. Lieutenant Toft is as organized as they come. You can be sure he'll be working with the Toft himself. Commander Ikande So I heard there was a bit of excitement on the Siren of the Stars. Your handiwork, I assume? Yes. And I heard there were no casualties. Excellent work. Except for the ecliptic hit squad that you took down at the archives. I'm taking care of that mess, by the way. Speaking of which, I assume you copied the information from the Galbank's computers. Let me see what you've got. So the legacy went down at Bannock 4. Bannock 4. Hmm. Why does that sound familiar, Doft? Bannock 4 is an EM class gas giant, sir. There isn't a ship in the fleet that could safely get near that type of world. Good. That should slow them down for a while. Look, I spent all day listening to those idiots running in circles. Are you telling me I don't know my own job? All right, calm down, Lieutenant. Even if Delgado has an immediate solution to the EM problem, there's still the matter of tracing the legacy's transponder signal. They have information about the comm spike? <sighs> Damn it. I'm afraid I'm not familiar with that device, sir. No, you shouldn't be familiar with it. It's a highly classified project. It's an advanced signal decryption and tracking device that the UC Navy's been working on for years. How the hell did the Crimson Fleet find out about that? There must be an information leak somewhere, sir. It's the only thing that makes sense. I'll see what I can find out. Fine. This is what we're going to do. You keep playing along and go after the comm spike. Lieutenant Toft and I will see what we can find out about Bannock 4. Perfect. Just stick with the plan and we'll see who gets to Krix's legacy first. <laughs> 